humans, we're, we're an active species. And motion, being alive, being, moving around, um, is an essential part of many people's quality of life. Everybody's different. Some people like sport, other people like going for a walk in the park. Some people simply want to shop. Our job here is to understand what they love doing and use that as a metric. And if we use this approach, we find very interesting things. My name is Justin Cobb. I'm Professor of Orthopaedics at Imperial College and I work in Charing Cross Hospital in the MSK lab. I'm curious about how people wear out and why they wear out and whether we can stop that happening. The burden of joint disease continues to grow and until now the cost of treating any one of those um, worn joints has not really fallen. That um, is a societal issue that if you look at the trends is going to become increasingly difficult to sustain as more and more people remain fit and active for longer and longer. We have people from widely different scientific disciplines. We have material scientists, software engineers, hardware engineers, We've got mathematicians and um, sports scientists. We've got neuro neuroscientists and, of course, clinicians all coming um, together to achieve something they couldn't possibly achieve on their own. We measure how people function, how people walk, how people run, how people go about their everyday lives and the impact of their activities on, on their joint function and on the progress of joint disease. So one of the things that Imperial's done very well for some time now is allowed us to extract data from scans. We build models in the computer um, from people's skeletons and using those models we, we actually do virtual surgery, understanding the shape of any one person's skeleton as they are and what we're trying to restore them to. We've had robotic technology for a couple of decades now that can perform complex tasks with big expensive machines. Unfortunately, robots have a tendency to make a big operation bigger rather than smaller. The really exciting technology that seems to be transforming um, the way the musculoskeletal world is going is that of 3D printing. So a 3D printer can now print out not only um, a perfect model of a sore hip or knee, but also the instruments we need to um, perform the surgery. And that's a, a huge revolution because we're getting robotic level accuracy at a fraction of the cost. So this little piece of polymer that perhaps costs 20 pounds, I suppose, delivers a million pound accuracy um, every time. The impact of all these technologies is, of course, calculating the cost of it all, but against that, the benefit of it to people's quality of life. We're simply talking about pain and suffering and the alleviation of that and how we measure it. Our big requirement is for brains. It's individuals working in groups that can achieve things that are extraordinary. This is an amazingly exciting time and there's much more to come.